Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to pop on real quick. Uh, as I've been seeing a whole lot of like kerfuffle, as we re recap what Bobby would say about Tara F and Michelle goes live, apparent falling out. And I've seen um, two different sides of opinion on this. And I can, I can get both sides to a degree. On one hand, you have people saying like, you know, Tara's breaking away from Michelle. She has her own channel. She's backing away. She's trying to do better. Blah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But then you have the other side saying, well, well, no, Michelle, not Michelle. Tara was sitting there with Michelle while she was saying and doing all these horrible things to everyone or to a lot of people, I should, should say, not everyone. And so they're like, they're not having it. And I get it. Like, you know, on one hand, you want to give someone a chance. And on the other hand, they're like, nah, like she was complicit in this mess because she sat there. My opinion is this. I think it's okay to hear someone out, hear their side and, you know, get their perspective on what they were going through at that time. Because you just never know what someone's going through. You know, you don't want to judge too harshly, but then again, you have to take a step back and look at the situation as, you know, it's in its totality. So I'm, I'm going to take this part and say, you know, if Tara were to just stay on her own channel and not be jumping from panel to panel to panel, I think I would be more inclined to have less of a bias against her. And my bias comes from the fact that she did sit there um, with Michelle, why she did all of these things to um, quite a few creators, you know, in some cases egging it on and, you know, said nothing. So for me, you were with it. You were, you know, doing it. And now you're supposed to get yourself from Michelle as you can see all the backlash that's coming. And to me, going from panel to panel to panel is not a good look because from what it looks from my perspective is that you're trying to subform to get monetized and make money, which is there's nothing wrong with making money on YouTube. I support people who want to make money on YouTube. But for me, it comes down to, you know, how you do it. You, are, you left Michelle and I've seen Tara and, you know, Charlotte on the web's chat and then she was on Jenny Jen Jen's panel, you know, yesterday. So for me, it's like you went from a shell and now you're trying to gain support from the people who are critical of Michelle or who don't like Michelle. And to me, it doesn't come off as the most um, genuine. And I'll use that word. It comes across as very opportunistic. And for me, that's not... It doesn't sit right. It, 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 it sends alarm bells off for me. Now, for the people who say absolutely not, Tara will have my support. I will watch any of her videos. This, this, net. I understand that too, simply because you do um, want people in with who they're associated with. And it's not so much that Tara is a supporter. And I said this yesterday in Charlotte's chat. There is a distinct difference between supporting a creator and being their number one mod right hand. That's a whole different level of support. You're basically the one B to their one A. And that's just the way it is. So you can't sit there and say, you know, I denounce Michelle and what she's done when you were sitting right next to her while, as she did it. That really does not work for a lot of people. And for me, I'm one of them. It just does not work. You know, you for me to have any less bias, I would need Tara to release all the receipts and allocate to what she's done and what part she played. Because I did watch some of Jenny Jen Jen's um, interview with Tara um, you know, I want to hear all sides. I did want to hear Tara's side because I feel that everyone is owed the opportunity to um, speak their piece. So I was listening for a little bit and I kind of turned it off because I felt some of the questions that were asked were very good questions. But I felt Tara did a lot of deflection and didn't answer the questions directly. I really feel Tara should have taken Charlotte's advice and said, you know what, get ahead of this, you know, allocate to everything you did on your channel, just say it, you know, don't let Michelle um, blindside you, 
And there's a saying in, like, you know, the reality TV, like, tea gossip um, space, and it says, don't let anyone spray you with your own tea, meaning don't let anyone use things you've done against you. You put it out there yourself and take away that power. Um, you don't want people having things over your head. And Tara, from what I've seen, has not done that yet. I know it's been teased. I've seen Michelle saying she's releasing receipts. I've seen Tara say she's releasing receipts. But no one's released receipts yet. So while I am going to take a uh, step back and just watch it unfold, but from where I'm standing, this is all about monetization and money. And we have to be honest based on the stunts and shows we've seen, it's not out of the realm of possibility that Michelle and Tara are working together because you do not go from, this is my bestie, this is my ride or die, yada, 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 to that's not my friend no more, um, she's terrible, she's vile. It, to downshift that fast and to be hopping to panel to panel to panel, yeah, no, like I said, red flags everywhere. But like I said, I'm going to take a step back, watch it all play out, and see where the road takes us. You, you know, you just never know what might happen, who might say what. So everyone, if you're interested, stay tuned and keep your eyes open and your ears especially open. That being said, thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.